Well, Gio, let's start with last night. A fantastic result to get through against Red Star. How do you reflect on not only last night, but the, the two ties and, and getting through against a, a quality team? Well, I feel very, very proud. I mean, it's uh, obviously, um, <clears throat> you know, was a good opponent we we uh, were faced against. But, uh, you know, if you win 4-2 on aggregate uh, over the two legs, you know, and you qualify for uh, the quarterfinals. I think it's uh, it's a huge achievement because um, you know we didn't happen a lot in recent years. So uh, I'm really happy for all of us to uh, you know to be in the quarterfinals. I know it's always about looking ahead, but to have achieved this so short in your your managerial spell here at Rangers for for you and your staff, what does that mean to be making this new history? Well, um, of course we're we're very proud. I mean it's. Uh, you know, we're working hard to um, to win games. I mean, we, we took over in, in uh, November. You know, I think um, Stephen had uh, had the foundation based in, in Europe, you know, of course, with the group stage as well. He played uh, six games, or four games, sorry. And uh, we just, you know, went on and, and, and tried to uh, be successful in the games after. But it's, it's not only my staff, it's everyone involved in this club already for, for years. You know, the staff who was already there, um, everyone involved uh, in the club, the, of course the players. So we, uh, you know, we achieved this, this moment uh, together and uh, we will uh, work hard and fight together to, uh, to get to the next round. Drawn against Braga then in the quarter-final. I mean, what, what, just give me your initial thoughts on the tie uh, and what to expect from, from Braga. Well, we, we, we know which uh, opponent we face now next month and uh, you know, it's uh, of course a, a strong side, a Portuguese side. It was always difficult to play against Portuguese teams. Um, they were in the same group as Red Star, so we already uh, saw games. Uh, Red Star played against them, and uh, we're gonna prepare well for this tie as well, and um, and work hard to uh, to uh, to go to the next round. So um, that's all you have to do, and that's what we were looking forward to. I think there was six, seven thousand Rangers fans in, in Braga the last time we played them two years ago. A fantastic number in, in Red Star last night. What does it mean to have their, their backing, not only at home, but, but going all these long distances in Europe in, in such numbers? Well, I think, it's, uh, I think it's special for all of us you know, to be involved in Europe. You know, the, the games at home uh, at Ibrox are, are always special and to travel into Europe with all the support we have from the fans it just gives you uh, a good feeling and, and the support we have always is, is, is fantastic so um, you know playing against Braga maybe with six seven thousand uh, supporters traveling with us it's always good and uh, you know I think we uh, we always uh, have a good chemistry with them and they push us also you know, um, on the pitch and during the, the night. So uh, more than happy to, to have them with us and, uh, and make sure we are, um, we, we do everything to overcome this, this round and to be in the next round. Looking then to Sunday against Dundee, firstly, how is the squad looking after last night's game? Well, we, we, we traveled straight after the game. Uh, we came in to Glasgow quite late at night. So uh, today is all about resting and recovery and uh, evaluate uh, the players fitness so uh, and then tomorrow we're going to prepare for for Dundee um, travel uh, already to uh, to Dundee and uh, make sure we um, we finish this block uh, with three points uh, before all the players will fly out to their international duties and uh, you know we switch now to the domestic league, and uh, we need three points. That's um, that's the only task we have tomorrow. It certainly seems the squad is in a, a good place at the moment. You're able to name a full bench last night. Phil Hollander, obviously not involved, but played last Sunday against Dundee. He's in the sweet the Sweden squad. It seems everyone's in a, in a good place, just ready going into this international. Yeah, race. we are. We are more than happy to uh, to have all almost all players uh, on board. Um, uh, in the last phase of the of the of the season, and um, yeah, for me also, you know, I can pick more players, you know, depending the opponent, and everyone is is fighting for uh, for starting play uh, starting uh, uh, places. So uh, I think it's a good uh, good competition we have now, and uh, of course you feel the energy and the desire to uh, to keep going. That's all we have to do um, in the remaining games. And going back to Dens Park again this Sunday, from 
playing them last Sunday, what did you learn from that game against Dundee, and what can you take into this weekend? Well, we, we, of course, we uh, we played them already at Ibrox. Um, you know, uh, when I when I came in December, and uh, we we uh, we uh, we saw them uh, playing how we expected. You know, it's um, they play quite quite defensively. You try to uh, punish us on the on the break, and um, I think we had a very solid performance last week, and um, deserved to go through in the cup and. Uh, you know, Sunday we have to, we have to have the same. You know, with from minute one, just the desire and the determination to get the result and and go back to uh, to Glasgow.